So today we're back playing RIA Formula Racing because it recently got an update last weekend and they added a new track. And you can also see they have a Halloween themed lobby even though Halloween ended like yesterday. But let's not get distracted. We need to talk about this update because this update is kind of big in row racing I would say. It's like the first time I've seen Spa in like a row racing game like a Roblox F1 game. Besides the chassis testing game that I've seen before and the other special thing about this is that it's not free you actually need to spend the robux to drive on this track I'm not sure if I'm quite comfortable with spending robux to play a track let alone pay 500 robux for it you can see when I try to go on the track it just kills me and it asks me if I want to buy the game pass 500 robux that's basically five dollars in real life money not even code master do pay DLCs and you can see you can also pre-order the next track which is Australia for half the price which is 250 Robux before it releases so they're probably planning on releasing this one for Robux as well in about three days from my recording although I do think that pre-ordering game passes is against Roblox US they should consider not doing that but back to spa it costs 500 Robux that's like one of the most expensive game passes on all of Roblox racing i think it's only second to the formula x car in ion which is like 675 robux and in this video i'm gonna be reviewing the track to tell you if it's worth it or not because if i'm being honest i'm really excited to play this track but i'm kind of nervous about spending 500 robux let's spend the robux i need to do this review for you guys if i don't do it i doubt anyone else will do it and let's actually go there by the way before we get further in the video i've been paid to make a video Video on this update i haven't been paid to say like this track is great or whatever i haven't even played it yet but they did pay me to just showcase it for wait hold on is this a red bull why is the red bull logo just the red bull logo oh my god no the knockoff red bull logo is just the red bull logo upside down okay well, that's definitely gonna help with copyright but let's see the track okay it's typical spa i don't think i've seen any other spa on roblox before so i can't really compare i've seen an imported one from Assetto Corsa that's on a like chassis test game but that's like a very old version so let's spawn the red bull or the dead bull and check out this track I don't think they changed anything in the cars they're still the same but yeah let's check out this track so the pitch exit is to the right and oh my god this is a tight pitch exit just like real life and let's see we're leaving the pits now okay oh my god okay first thing I noticed that or rouge looks a little bit too steep i'm not gonna lie but let's see okay so you go downhill here i wonder how the elevation oh my god oh my god oh the understeer okay 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 oh my i got corner i got two corner cuts okay well i need to go back to check out or rouge again i'm not sure if or rouge is supposed to be this steep but i've only driven it in like codemaster games and assess corsa maybe it feels different in other games but you can see it's very steep and once you get on it it's very understeer unless if you slow down a little i'm used to having a lot of downforce through there and this corner on the camel straight is a bit too tight i would say but yeah Oro is not that bumpy a bit too understeer in this cars but it's not that bad it's actually very detailed and you can see this part of oh my god i must say the colors on this game are so saturated i really like it it makes the game like pop out a little and it looks very nice but yeah this is this section this like turnaround section is supposed to be downhill but i guess they tried avoiding doing downhill and turning at the same time because it's gonna be like a banked corner which would be like very bumpy and bad they decided to do this part downhill instead and this corner this is usually a very high speed corner that i usually go wide on and this part i never forgot the name of this part oh my god no 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 no, no. please uh, i lost part of my front wing but um i don't think this is this corner is properly made hold on um no nah, it looks it looks fine it's fine i would say this is how the corner should be i'd say it's a bit too tight but no actually it's less tight than real life but it's just the cars that are way too understeer i'm used to doing that either in full throttle or seventh gear it seems like this car you need to be in like fifth gear or slow down a little to go through it this part seems fine this corner i really like this corner because i do it high speed i'm not sure if it is supposed to be downhill and finally for the very long straight here oh my god i would say this is pretty accurate i mean uh, spa was actually one of the tracks 
tracks that I played a lot in Assetto Corsa. Like, it's one of the only tracks I've driven in Assetto Corsa. So, I know it quite decently. Yep. Oh my god, the bus stop chicane. This used to be my weakness in Assetto Corsa. The chicane needs to be a little bit tighter. But, that's about fine. And we just finished a lap around Spa. Okay, let's go to the La Sauce. Is that turn one? What's turn one called? But yeah, the track is not bad. It's actually good. It needs a little bit. Oh my god. Okay, what just happened? What? Oh my god. The bumps. Hello. Oh my god. Okay, Or Rouge is very bumpy as expected. Like, I mean, I mean, that's one of the reasons you haven't seen spawn Roblox as much as mainly because Or Rouge is a bent. What? Did I just do a wheelie? It's mainly because Or Rouge is like elevation section that also has like a little bit of turning. So that which bumps is gonna cause a lot of problems, especially if the bumps are really severe. And right now I'm just trying to practice the track to actually set a good time on it. It said time to beat is a 140, which is somewhat accurate to real life. Well, this part is actually quite easy. You just need to let go th of the throttle. It doesn't feel that quick, but it is actually quick. And uh, through the. Yeah, I, I must say, this is actually a well-made track is it worth 500 robux i mean if you're not that rich i wouldn't recommend it if you really want to play spa then this is the place to play it but it will set you back about five dollars i believe 50 people already have access to this track there is a badge on the game that you can see and you can see that 50 people have the badge already which means 50 people bought the track already and let's go through here again and here again okay now i'm gonna try to set a good lap and try to beat the 140 it said on the teleporter place uh we just did an invalid 142 we just need to have a good oru section because last time we had a wheelie right there okay let's oh my god i did the wheelie again is this gonna be a wheelie on every oh my god i just hit another bump and there's another like white line here that you hit and you do a wheelie i think or was it just random what did i hit last time and did the wheelie okay well it didn't happen this time thankfully and let's not get a corner cut i'm really trying to be careful this part I used to drop a lot of traction in and spin around in a set of Corsa but let's avoid that and here I would usually get understeer oh my god I didn't get a corner cut there's no corner cuts there nice you can just go wide it's like I don't think he gained time by going wide there but we still did it and I mean we didn't get a corner cut so we're still on a lap please please no 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 come back come back okay no cuts but we did lose like I would say we lost like five tenths by going wide there or maybe seven tenths and here we break at 120 turn around i mean these lines that i'm doing are not great at all final straight there is no ers i really want to deploy ers right now usually when i go here i go like full deploy hot lap deploy mode and we need to le lift a little through this corner because it's kind of tight do we need to lift um no we don't need to lift we just need to be gentle with the steering here i break earlier 200 meters i think i braked way too early and through the final corner we get the drs even though there is no DRS we cross the line it's a 143.492 that's not really great what the heck wait what wait what that wasn't a great time but oh my god what <laughs> I think they forgot to anchor some um curves here is this a curve why is there a high bro if you go wide here death th literally that wait can I move them with my car hold on let me spawn a new car imagine you go wide on turn one and you just see these little tiny curves here and oh oh okay did I move oh my god I'm s I'm so how am I I beached on a bugged out curve. What the heck? What? What? Bro, I'm beat. Okay, well, there goes my car. Did I move them? I think they moved a little, but they're very hard to move. But you can see that's much the track it does have a lot of nice scenery but yeah i would say this track is well made like if you're wondering is this track good or bad i would say it's good i mean i let you see the oru section one more time to determine if this is good to your standards though like besides that wheelie right there in the oru section and the little bumps here everything else in the track i really like so i would give like the track an 8 out of 10 maybe even a 9 out of 10 or i would give it a 9 out of 10 if it if Orouge wasn't that bumpy but it's an 8 out of 10 it's just now down to you do you think it's worth 500 robux of your money or five dollars of your money to play on this track of course i'm gonna be leaving a link to the game in the description if you want to try it but yeah that's pretty much all there is to check out in this update australia is gonna be coming out
out in a few days as well let me know in the comments below if you want me to review that for you before you buy it and also smash that like button if you found this video helpful and it helped you not waste your money or maybe determine if the track is good and also subscribe to the channel we're getting very very close to 20k subs and if you want to see my other vid where i reviewed one of the game pass cars that this game has click the video that pops up on the screen right now and i'll see you guys next time thank you very much for watching bye bye